This is Excalibur Heavy Battle Cruiser. And after taking a long break once again from Chicken Invaders Universe, yeah, I tend to do that, if that even came as a surprise, I decided to check back on Chicken Invaders Universe to see what was going on. And turns out, I arrived at just the right moment. Because apparently, Chicken Invaders 5 is going to be added to Chicken Invaders Universe. Now, fair warning, this thing is very much experimental and is probably going to be very buggy and things, so yeah. It, it's safe to say that I'll probably have to report several bugs that'll occur in the gameplay of this. But still, if this actually goes through and Interaction Studios does plan on add, actually does go through with the decision of adding Chicken Invaders 5 to Chicken Invaders Universe, then this opens up a lot of precedent. We could potentially have Chicken Invaders 4 or Chicken Invaders 3, maybe even Chicken Invaders 2. In a way, it would be like remastering the other Chicken Invaders games. Because Chicken Invaders Universe does have some very handy quality of life features that the older Chicken Invaders games don't have. And this could prove to be a great way of remas remastering those older games. It also allows for new possibilities because now you can fly those missions with bombers and other types of new spacecraft. I for one have decided to pick out my Omega Bomber, the heaviest of the bunch. Although Emperor Palpatine may disagree with that statement. Well then, time to check out what's going on. It is nice that the spacecraft model does actually change according to what I'm actually flying.
it looks like though it looks like the cutscenes are not any different from the ones in Chicken Invaders 5, aside from the spacecraft model being changed, according to what we're actually flying in mission. And yeah. The game overrides the default weapon you're starting off with back to Hypergun, as is the case in the original Chicken Invaders 5. It does feel kind of surreal that I don't, that I no longer need to spam click in order to dish out a lot of firepower in Chicken Invaders 5. Bet they don't see what's coming right now because I've brought in dual lightning. At just firepower tree. That's something the chicken invaders one chickens, the chicken invaders five chickens have not seen. <laughs> soon, soon enough, they shall witness the horror of quadruple lightning, among other things. They must be pretty perplexed at how I am being so much more dangerous than before. If they even are reincarnations of previous chickens. though as to how we can gain extra special weapons because in every other chicken invaders game other than chicken invaders universe eating food gives you missiles here though it's a clearly differing thing I have well over 100 food Actually, over 200 food, and I still don't have a missile, so yeah. That is one aspect where it's clearly different, and will not... And will totally... So yeah, in terms of being a faithful recreation, it's definitely not holding up. But hey, you don't need to be a faithful re recreation to the original source to be a good, enjoyable experience. Well, that was pretty quick, but then again, the original Enterprise fight was pretty fast. Like, the first encounter was very quick.
I will say, pro gamer mode really does throw you right into the action. Which is all well and good, don't get me wrong, because you did opt in for that kind of experience. Shotgun was one of the stronger weapons back in Chicken Invaders 5. Or we're back to Hyper Gun. It also feels kind of surreal knowing that we can now pick up Riddler and it won't be absolute garbage. It's still not the best weapon, but it's definitely head and shoulders above what it used to be. Told I am still not fond of this wave. Probably never will be. Oh look, we have laser cannon in its auto cannon form. Get to use. Get, now we finally get to see these kinds of corn in Chicken Invaders universe, technically. Ooh. Gotta watch out for the for that other corn. I can keep it there. Oh yeah, they definitely did not expect me to have a shit ton of ions like that as well. I have fought much harder version of you so many times over that this is gonna be a cakewalk. Well, never mind. He does want to step up from his encounter in from himself in Chicken Invaders 5. Now he throws two knives. Two knife follies. Even so, easy.
I will say the text boxes look kind of weird. of revolution. You know what? I'm gonna let this Gatling gun fire. Would be pretty disappointing if it only fired... Oh! It now actually functions like a Gatling gun, firing way more than just three eggs. are definitely going to be much scarier. Also, they definitely are not going to expect me to have homing missiles in the name of Photon Swarm. Yeah, these guys are very perplexed now. They're probably like, what the frick? Homing Photon is a thing? Well, sucks to suck, doesn't it? For homing Photon has been a thing year for years now in Chicken and Beer's universe. Oh yeah, they also did not expect me to have Riddler be actually pretty strong.
I hope they trimmed down the length of the high-speed chase as well. party time where the special needs chicken is actually somewhat scary what okay I expected it to be somewhat more dangerous than before but I did not expect it to lay down a lucky field of projectiles that would just straight up entrap me like that Well, I will grant you one chance of using that AoE ability. Yeah, your time's up. I underestimated that fool, and now I will end the fool. sure how that even works. <laughs> I doubt a mop would do you much good when you're straight up uh, submerged in several dozens of meters of water, if not hundreds or thousands of meters. Okay, I will say, the sunlight entering makes it very bright. Yeah, additive lightning, additive lighting is definitely an experience. And I'm not sure if it is positive, because holy shit, it is quite difficult to see stuff. On the bright side though, no pun intended, we finally technically have Planetary missions in Chicken Invaders Universe, even if it came in the form of a previous installment. I just... I just know about how many people who requested planetary missions be a thing in Chicken Invaders Universe. And I do want them, don't get me wrong, but it is kind of hilarious seeing it took this long for them to finally show up. Also, since weapons are generally stronger in Chicken Invaders Universe, I think I may have enough firepower to take down this giant tentacle. There we go. This 
this may actually be a good way of testing testing out DPS of certain weapons. Wait, does that rock have collision now? Looks like it. I don't think that was a thing in Chicken Invaders 5, was it? Alright, so I'll need to be way more careful of the hazards around here. Quick test, let's see if those shells hit me. Oh. The shells themselves don't actually hit me. The cannon themselves isn't doesn't have a hitbox. But the chickens obviously do. Well, time to be somewhat more careful. Still gonna stay away from those rocks. I don't trust the rocks. From the health bar, it becomes pretty obvious that even with my heavy DPS via Boron Railgun, it's sadly still not enough to take down those tentacles. Those things... I really do wonder, like, what kind of gigantic sea creature those, does those tentacles come from? It's probably something that resembles an a terrestrial, an earth like uh, earth uh, cephalopod, but it must be much larger. Given how tiny our spacecraft is in comparison to just one of its tentacles, imagine how many people you could feed if you made calamari out of that. God, these rocks have collision now. I'm definitely gonna say it. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to weave through those rocks. Let's see if that rock kills me. Also, yeah, those torpedoes are not doing me any favors. Even that rock has a hitbox now. Epic. Can I stay back? I need to watch out, not just for the tentacles, but also those rocks, which now have hitboxes. Yeah, I definitely took those rocks for granted. I am not making that mistake. Never again. And yeah, that tentacle just creeps towards you once again, like in the original version. Well, this is gonna be a difficult one. I should have guessed because it also blocks off bullets now, like look at this. Whoa! I did not expect it to be that much faster. Okay, this could be a tough fight. This is going to be the most dangerous. Wait, the barrage went fast enough that it wasn't actually too much, much more dangerous. Well then. Oh yeah, that ram attack is now actually capable of KOing players, if not careful. Watch out for that dash. That dash is actually lethal now. Nearly there. There we go. I did not expect a surprisingly enjoyable boss fight from 
the jellyfish. Perhaps I treated you too harshly. That boss fight was actually a lot more fun than in the original game. With that being said, guys, I think I am running out of time for Chicken Invaders 5. So this will be a three-parter. Anyways, guys, it's time for me, time to end this video on Chapter 5. As always, may the forks be with you all.